back, my counting champions. Buckle up for today's thrilling session on Mango Treat. Today, we will be going back into the world of numbers with excitement and energy. Get ready for more counting exercises. Let's begin our counting journey with our exercise count and match. Get ready to pair up numbers with pictures. Let the matching begin. So, on one side, we see colourful pictures of lotus, elephants and houses. And on the other side, we see numbers. Now, let's count and match them. So, we have lotus. Let's count how many they are. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, they are 7 in number. Now, let's see where the number 7 is written and match it with it. Yes, like this. Now, let's count the elephants and match them with the correct number. And then again, let's count the houses and similarly match them as we just did. Our next activity is called count and color. Isn't coloring the best thing to do? I personally love doing it as well. So let's now color the stars. But remember, we have to color only eight of them. You can see a lot of stars there, but we have to count only eight and color them. So first, let's count and then color them. Right? So, moving on to the next one. As you can see, there are a lot of flowers. Of all these flowers, all you have to do is color only five flowers. So, count till number five and then color them. The third one are balls. So, what do we do? We see a lot of balls here. All we have to do is Count till number 6 and colour only the 6 balls. Let's do our next activity which is about joining the numbers in order. So, it is called join the numbers in an order. All we have to do is draw a path from number 1 to number 9. But remember, the order should be correct and the lines should not cross each other. So, what do we do? We start from number 1, 2, 3 and so on. Keep drawing it till you reach the number 9. Similarly, you see another picture on the screen. You see a card which has numbers written on it. So, as we just did, we will do a similar activity here. You have to start with number 1 and keep increasing it and keep drawing the lines in the correct order till you reach number 9. Yes, wonderful, great. And similarly, this is the third card. We have to do the similar activity on this card as well. Isn't it fun? Oh, now what else do you see on the screen? We see a naughty monkey here. You know what he just did? He is such a naughty monkey, he has shuffled our number cards. So what do we do now? So first, let's see what numbers we have here. So we have 2, 8, 3, 5 and 6. Now, let's write them in correct order from the small list to the largest. Okay, now we see a cat. And what has the naughty cat done on the sheet? Oh my God, she has walked over it and as a result, wiped off the numbers. 
we see her paw marks on the place of our numbers. Let's find out the missing numbers and write them on her paw marks. So what do we see? We see number 5, 6 and 8. So think about it. What comes before 5? Yes, it's 4. So write 4 there. And what comes after 6 and before 8? Yes, think about it. What comes between 6 and 8? Exactly, it is number 7. So that is the number that comes between these two values. Next, we see her paw marks again and then we see a number 2 and then again a paw mark and then we have 4 and 5 written. So what do you think will come before 2? Yes, think about it. Very good, it is the number 1. So 1, 2 and then we have a paw mark and then we have the number 4. So what comes after 2 and before 4? Let's count. 1, 2, 3. Yes, it is 3. So the numbers are completed now. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let's move on to the next one. It starts with number 5 and then we have 3 paw marks and then comes the number 9. What do you think will come in these 3 places? What will come between 5 and 9? Think about it and write them down. The last one is 3, then comes 2 paw marks, then we have number 6 and then again a paw mark. So, what do you think will come in these paw marks? Let's count 3, then what comes after 3? Yes, 4, 5, 6 and then what comes after 6? This I will not be telling you, you do it on your own. Wasn't that a fun exercise? Let's move on to this another fun filled exercise. So, what do we do here? We have to colour the biggest number. And oh my god, look at the numbers. They have eyes, hands and legs as well. Let's see what numbers they are and try to find out which is the biggest number. Yes, think about. Yes, think about it. Keep thinking. You are absolutely right. It is the number 9 that is the biggest. So let's colour our number 9. Let's move on to this another interesting exercise. What do we see here? We see a lot of boxes that are stacked one on the other. And we have to see how many yellow boxes are there. Let's count them. How many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 yellow boxes. Now let's move on to the next one. What do we have? We have jamuns here. And how many jamuns are there in the given picture? Yes, you are right. Let's count the jamuns that we have on the screen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 jamuns on the screen. Coming to the next one, we have to write the number of sheets that we see on the screen. This I am not going to tell you. You do it on your own. All that you have to do is count the number, find out and write. Next activity is my favourite one as it's about fruits. Don't we all love having fruits? You know what? My favourite fruit is mango. What are your favourite fruits learners? Now let's draw any of your four favourite fruits here. Next is an encircling activity. What do we do here? In this we have to count the number of fruits and see which fruit or which 
two groups of fruits together have eight fruits. So, what do we see? We see two apples and we see bananas. Let's count how many bananas are there. One, two, three. So, we have three bananas and we have guavas. Let's count how many guavas are there. One, two, three, four and five. Yes, so we have two apples, three bananas and five guavas. Now, as per the exercise, they asked us to make eight fruits. So, five guavas and three bananas come together to make eight fruits in total. So, that is what we will be doing here. Next, it talks about which two groups together have seven umbrellas. So, let's see. The first one has one, two, three, four. Four umbrellas. Next is one, two, three. We have three umbrellas. And then one, two, three, four, five. Five umbrellas. So, we circle the four and three together to make seven. That's how we get the number seven. Next, we have to find out which are less in number. So, as you can see on the screen, we have cups and spoons. So, first we have to count the number of cups we have and the number of spoons we have to find out which are less in number. So, let's count the cups first. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. We have seven cups. Let's count the number of spoons. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six spoons. So, what do you think are less in number? Absolutely right. It's the six spoons. And so, we have to encircle them. And this brings us to the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed the drawing event and had fun doing all the exercises. Remember that maths is like a game. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So keep practicing, keep counting and have a great day. Bye-bye learners. Music